Alright, today I'm going to talk about three-way light switches. We all seen them. You can turn the light on here, and turn it off somewhere else, turn it back on, and vice versa. I'm going to try my best to explain how it works. I put this board together the other night to try to, I guess you say, illustrate it a little bit better. So let me get the camera here. I'll show you what we're looking at here. I got it hooked into a uh, wire here and have it plugged in. I'll unplug it so I can show you better. Set it down here a little bit. Okay, what you're looking at, put it in my the black wire is your hot wire coming in. It comes into your first switch, which is right here. There's your black wire coming into the black screw, which is your common. Your common screw. What this switch does, it has two other screws on it, two gold screws. One on this side, and one right there. What this switch does, it switches between the two. It throws your common to this one in one position, and when you flip the switch, it goes down here, it makes a circuit on that one. Now, I hope you can understand that, because if you can understand that, it makes it a lot easier. All it is, your, these are called your travelers. Your black and the red you go in between your two three-way switches and the same principle over here when the switch is up the commons connected to the top wire and when you flip the switch it connects it down here if you look at it I can turn it it's on right now the light bulb would, would be on right now you flip this switch it turns it off because it breaks the circuit your power will be coming through here. It can't go to your light because this switch is on right here. Then you flip through this switch. The power will come on. It will go through here like that. And you can same thing. It, it's a basic circuit, but it seems like nobody understands how it works. It makes you feel like an idiot because the idea is so simple. And I got my bare wire, your bare copper wire, and your Romex. I just got it tied into your green grounding screw in here, which will also be tied into your box, but this is just for uh, demonstration purposes. And just to make it more authentic, I ran, the, ran it over here and hooked it into the other one. And I tied it into the screw I got mounted on here. This is plastic, so it don't really matter. That's just showing you how you hook it to your box on there. And I just got your black hooked to your uh, hot screw and your neutral hooked to that which they call it your ground dead anymore. That's something else I'll say. Your white wire is your ground dead. Your black, which used to be called your hot wire, is called ungrounded now. And your bare, what I always called frame ground, is now called your grounding conductor. That's some new terminology. Alright, I'll plug it in here again and I'll try to explain it a little bit better here. Okay, right now the switches are set like it is in the schematic here. Both of them are on. Now I'm going to flip this one. That bringing this down right here, breaking the circuit. Okay, and this one's still like this. So when I flip it, it's bringing it down here like that. And your light comes on. Should put a little wattage bulb in it. And you can turn it on and off here, and on and off here. The next video I'm going to try to make, if you all like this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to show you how a four-way switch works, which is the same thing. You still have your two three-way switches. What you do, between your travelers, you put your four-way right in between them. What it does, it crisscrosses them. I'll get into more detail on that in another video when I make the other board. But I hope that gives you a good explanation of how it works. If y'all got any questions, just message me or leave me a comment down there. and I'll try to get back. And if this video don't explain it good enough, I'll make another one explain it a little bit better, hopefully. But Well, that's about it. So Catch y'all later.